There. Okay, see if I can make just one trip with all the things I need. I promise you I can't, I'll have forgotten several things, but we have a job to do today that I'm thinking I'm gonna regret the fact I didn't do this two weeks ago. I'll show you what I mean. So what we need to do is graduate them from their little pen to their big pen. So we'll shut this gate in case they escape. Good. You wanna open that one? Who wants to go first? Who's going in the pen first? Phoenix? Phoenix? Okay, open the open Phoenix's pen, Bella. And just let her roam around sure, sure. She's not gonna go anywhere. Hey, you coming? Here, I'll do this one. You coming, dude? There we go, good. You grab this one, Bella. Whoa, excited. Don't get up. Okay, so we'll leave them in here for tonight. They're all fed already. Tomorrow morning, we will show them where the calf feeder is. And then they can start drinking on their own. I already forgot bolts. Oh, I had a pen in my pocket. Oh. I forgot the pen. Need to put a water bowl right about where he's sitting. Somewhere on this bar here. Um, looks like on this side we're safe in here to drill through. We don't want to really be drilling through anything here. That wouldn't go very well. the odds of all the places I could make a hole. I gotta make it exactly here. Huh. Sure enough. Chewing that up. This is actually how most water bowls work. You can see there, you got a little rubber, water comes in there, and we're gonna attach this float. The more pressure that this has, the more closed the water will be, so it'll stop the water running. As soon as this float drops down, because the, water, the level of water is down, then it opens up. That's basically 
the principle of pretty much every water bowl in the barn. I'm actually impressed, I'm not gonna lie. I thought everybody here would be a complete pain in the butt. It would appear that they are not. They are more concerned with doing their own thing. Here guys. Okay, we're going to introduce you to our newest calf. girl does not like her new digs. Moved her from the milking side to the dry cow side. Sometimes they're not overly impressed with their change of environment, but a day or two and she'll be fine. Um, look at this. The curtains are wide open and it is the middle of February. It is, man, does it ever feel like spring today? It is gorgeous, but the calendar says, watch out. We're going to end up paying for that. Anyway, what we got to do today is we are going to move heifers around. So as they get older, we kind of move them from one pen up to another one. So as you can see, they're pretty much out of feed. We'll drop feed down, lock them in, and then we'll start sorting them around. I know, I'm a coming, I'm a coming. So principle of these is very easy in that cow comes in and when they start eating this kind of wobbles back and forth while well, eventually it locks in. So they can keep eating, they can keep doing what they want, but this doesn't let them out. Um, the really nice thing about something like that is it makes it really easy that if we have to vaccinate or as you'll see in a few minutes, uh, when we have to sort animals, we can only worry about the ones we need to worry about um, and everybody else just stays quiet and keeps eating. How many openings do you have? Four. Including the one in her head? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll move three. But we need magnets. So this is us actually giving something called a cow magnet to the heifers. We give every heifer once they're confirmed pregnant, we've done an ultrasound, we know they're gonna have a calf, we give them a magnet. That magnet sits in their first of four stomachs. And it basically is there as a health and safety thing that if they ever happen to eat a little bit of metal, a nail, a screw, whatever could come in feed, 
uh, it's just going to stick to that and then it's not going to go through all their, their other stomachs and intestines. Then we let everybody go, everybody's calm and quiet, and we call it a day.